I always felt like I absolutely had to go to college after high school and that there was no other way to make a decent living. So after high school, I went to a community college to start working towards a physical therapy degree. And I remember sitting in class during my first year and thinking, man, this isn't for me. I'm not passionate about this. I don't feel like I'm getting any better or gaining any valuable skills. And it felt like I was there because I had to be and not because I wanted to be. And to me, that was a problem. I thought about dropping out, but that idea made me feel like a quitter or a failure or that I let my parents down. And not to mention, I played on the baseball team and I was chasing a dream of being a professional baseball player. And dropping out of college would mean giving up on something I worked my entire life for. So I ended up finishing out my first year of college. I had an average year both academically and on the baseball field. So that summer, I took a good long look at my situation. I mean, I was a good baseball player, but I wasn't a phenom. And I felt like I was wasting my time with school, so I dropped out. At that point, I knew my dreams of being a baseball player were over and I was officially a college dropout. I think the scariest part of the whole situation was that I had no idea what I was gonna do next. When I told my parents, they were actually pretty understanding, which was a pleasant surprise. I told my dad, dad, I don't know what I wanna do. And he told me, well, what if you do what I do? I knew that my dad was a tool maker, but I didn't know what that meant exactly. So I looked into it. At the time I was 18 years old and that was the first time I took an interest in what my dad did or even knew what machine was. After a little research, I realized that what my dad does for work is absolutely mind blowing. And it's like a perfect mixture between art and science. So we started talking shop and after about a week, I was totally inspired to become a tool maker. The complex, stressful, grinded out nature of the job really fascinated me. The only problem was I had absolutely no no knowledge or skills in the field. So I enrolled in a machine technology program at one of the local schools and I did that for six months until an entry level manufacturing assistant position opened up at the company my dad worked at. I ended up getting that job full time and once again dropping out of college so I could learn on the job and get paid for it. I didn't know exactly what to expect but I knew I had great work ethic and that I could learn quickly. So after the first week on the job I remember thinking to myself, did I mess up by doing this? I mean six months ago I was working towards being a professional baseball player and now I'm in the shop cleaning and deburring parts. That led me to go talk to the journeyman toolmakers about their careers and after hearing some of their stories of moving up through the ranks of a shop and how passionate they are about their craft and the rewarding feeling they get when they solve problems, I realized that this was only the beginning. I have a whole career of learning in front of me and in this trade, how good you want to be is completely up to you. I absolutely loved that my success would be largely dependent on how hard I worked. I've been in the trade for nine years now and I don't have any regrets about dropping out of college. My dad and I talk shop almost every day and I was fortunate enough to be able to work with him and learn from him for eight years of my career. I absolutely love manufacturing and everything that comes along with it. Just to be clear, I'm not trying to say you should drop out of college. That style of learning is great for a lot of people and everyone walks a different path. But don't be ashamed if college isn't for you. Find something you love and give it absolutely everything you've got. If we have to go to work, we might as well be great and make a difference. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'd love to hear your story in the comments. And if you wanna learn machining for free, and take your career to the next level, visit the Titans of CNC Academy. And don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch y'all next time.